Hello and welcome back to Inquisitor Martyr. Last time we continued on with our Ekru Void Crusade and got ourselves to here. And now, honestly, let's start with the bonus mission. What are we looking at? Completing will give you 10% damage bonus versus Tyranids. Hmm. Okay. Using craven tricks against the defenders of mankind. Perhaps we should find their leaders and give them a fair share of their own medicine. Yeah, forgot to talk about it uh, last time, but I would mentioned like Saints Row and just. Oh boy, that game. Like people said. We knew it was gonna suck after, like, the first bit they said about the game. You know, the second they're like, oh, you know, we're getting rid of some of the goofier weapons and talking about jokes punching up instead of, like, laughing at people and all this crap. I was like, oh. And then the game came out and... who oh boy. Oh, I'm glad I didn't buy it. I'm so glad. I can't even list all the bugs. Uh, one guy I watched, Big Fry, he was playing with somebody, and it was him as his male character, and then the other person, she had a female character. For some reason, the game just cloned all of the options onto her character. So her character had all of Big Fry's character stuff. The clothing, facial hair, glasses... And then she quit and went to her own world and still had the stuff. I'm like, what? Why? The only thing I can think of is some of the replication for the multiplayer just drew from the same source. Instead of being like, get whatever from... This is super boiled down again, but essentially you get certain aspects and certain selections for the character, you know, player one and player two, I think all of it just drew from the host. It was like, oh yeah, that, that's player one. And so it would just copy pasta Reno everything over. And it's just funny. Because it's like, come on, you... You know what you're doing. You can't tell me you sat down, made this whole game, tested it, and never encountered any of these bugs. Because these are sizable bugs here. Ah, oh, and the environment's bad, and it's disappointing. Because you know, I I played every other Saints game, and admittedly, I think they did get worse the more fantastical they tried to get. But they were fun, and this one just... The characters aren't fun, the environments aren't fun, the missions are super repetitive. They didn't try anything new. And honestly, when your storyline is a bunch of people become gang members to pay off student debt, that's the dumbest thing ever. And I have to laugh, like, I know you have to disconnect from reality a bit with games, but, like, you're the main character works for a private military contractor, and they're like, oh, I got all my debts, and I'm like, how did you get hired onto a PMC? Or PSC, depending on how they want to be particular, and not have, or, like, have some debts. Like, really, to get hired onto any modern private security, private military contractor, you usually have to be a cop or ex-military. 
you know, very rarely are they bringing in people outside of those two professions because you need people who are competent, take orders, and know how to handle firearms and can handle pressure. You know, you're not grabbing, you know, John from accounting at Google and being like, hey, do you want to go into, like, fucking Eritrea and start fighting? Like, no, you're not doing that. That's not how this works. It's not how any of this works. And on top of that, PMCs get paid really good. I know guys who've worked it, and you get paid for, like, last I heard it was two to three times what you're paid in the military for half to a quarter of the time. And you're not being put in the same situations. I need to check this gear. Oh my god, it's butt. I was... Oh, I was really hoping this would be better, but it's all resistances and exposed state. I'll re-roll it, but I'm not... I'm not seeing that panning out very well. Oh god, I was really hoping... Stupid me, the second it was everything is defeat guys will below 50% health, I should have looked at that and been like, eh, this is a little too good to be true. And it's like, okay, the resistances aren't bad. Hey, you take less damage when you're low health. But, I feel like in this game, if you are hitting half health, it's typically because of massive damage. You know, you're not waltzing around just smacking dudes left and right without a care you're usually getting just like absolutely molly whopped in two shots so it's a little disappointing to get all that but yeah we'll we'll re-roll it see what it gives me I don't really have any other armor as a backup I think I might have something I'll see whole lot of guys. Just speaking of massive damage, it made me think of d and I don't remember if I mentioned it. Either way, I'm bringing it up again. The, the changes... I don't, I don't think I mentioned it, actually. Uh, there was an announcement that... Like, some new rules that are coming for the next edition of D&D. Sixth edition. They call it, like, 1D&D &D or something. I really hate their new naming scheme. Like, I remember... D&D &D Next, which was 5e, and it was the stupidest name. Like, just go with additions. It's easy. I don't need some fancy, stupid name that sounds like it'll be for something, some other product. But they had stuff where it's like, oh, natural 20s are auto successes on, like, skill checks. I'm like, okay. A lot of people play that way. I play that way. It's not a big deal. And, you know, it's fun. Yeah, it means you get a 1 in 20 chance of automatically succeeding, but you play it within reason. You know, a level 1 isn't going to be wall running 80 feet across, you know, a wall of glass. You know, that, that's just not happening. But other stuff... You know, maybe a speech check or something within reason can happen. But then on top of that, they're like, oh, well, 
they're also we're also gonna get rid of NPCs being able to critically hit the player or any player characters. I'm like, why? Why would you get rid of the ability to crit the player? That's such a stupid design choice. Yes, players can be the victims of some really bad RNG and get critted. But that's part of the fun. The only time I think it's ever really a problem is, like, Vorporal weapons. Vorporal weapons suck. Because it's... If you get a crit, you automatically cut a head off. You know, I get that. But as a DM, sometimes you just gotta fudge the roll. Unless, you know, you're broadcasting the rolls to the players, in which case, you know, you kind of screwed in that position. Duty prevails. But it just, it kind of bugs me. Because I, I just think you shouldn't be removing, there shouldn't be things that a player can do that the NPCs can't do back. You know, it it creates imbalance. And it's gonna make... It's gonna make balancing really wonky. Because it's like, okay, well, to make up for the crit chance, are you just gonna up every enemy's damage a little? Because, I mean, you can go a long time without critting. But if everybody's just like, oh, we kind of baked in some of that damage then just every hit's gonna hit harder, even a point or two. And sometimes a point or two is all the difference. I, I, I don't like it. It just reminds me of, like, the Pathfinder 2nd Edition stuff where they're like, oh, you... I'm trying to think of the exact wording. When you enter the aura of a dragon, like their fear aura, you make a check, you make a roll, and if you hit a nat 20, you're immune to it. If you roll anything but, and you succeed, you still are subjected to an effect. It's reduced, but it's just not as bad. And then, you know, failures go from, you know, suffering the effect to natural one, which becomes, like, a increased effect. And I'm like, that sucks. I mean, it... It makes sense. But also, do I get those effects? You know, can I hit a dude with a fireball and if he fails the reflex save by, you know, he rolls a one, I just, like, explode him? Because if it's balanced in that way, sure. If not, we have a problem. There's another thing with the dragon, like, after the effect procs, you're immune for like a minute. But I, I can't remember, I have to look it back up, because I swear it was worded in a way where you absolutely could BS it and do some like stupid stuff to circumvent the effect. It was something where like, if you were a DM, you could reapply the effect rapidly. Because I want to say it was like, as long as you're in the effect, you're immune. But they just have to like, leave and come back to reapply. I'd have to double check. I may be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But even then, like a minute. <sighs> that's either not going to be a problem, or it's going to be a huge problem. And it all depends on how long the fight takes. I don't know, D&D's been getting weird. I honestly feel like they're just dumbing it down a little too much for people, when realistically they needed to increase complexity a bit since 5e. While great for new people, 
is a little too baby's first RPG kind of deal. You know, there's there's a line between 3.5 and 5e that's where it should be. You know, honestly, I think the best version was a uh, Star Wars Saga edition. You take that, condense the stats like they did with uh, 5e, and I think you'd have actually a really good game. You know, the trait system let you build out your character however you wanted on the fly. I'm still frustrated with that. Like, 5e just being like, oh yeah, so pick a subclass, and no matter what happens, you're trapped. What? Why? Wh wh whose idea was it to trap me in a build forever? And the lack of prestige classes makes it only worse. Because I can't just prestige out and be like, okay, you know, I'll... I'll figure something out, you know, oh, my cleric's not doing too hot. I'll dip a couple laughables into, you know, bard. And as long as I'm like evil or something, I can become a dirge singer. Okay, I can dip that way. Or, oh, I'll play a necromancer. I'll play, you know, something. Wow, that hurt. Those turrets are not playing around. But yeah, there's just issues, and I feel like they're just not addressing them. That and people's push to not make evil characters very evil. That one's been one that's just bugging me. It's like, look, evil people have to do evil things. <laughs> Otherwise, you're instantly having to raise the question of why is this guy the bad guy? I was really hoping he couldn't come through here. I love those fire pillars, they're so good! Hey, I see a... Ah, Archeo Tech. That's a good sign. Everything else looks like crap, but I don't care. Everything else can be crap. Admittedly, I keep saying I'd like a... Demon Forge weapon, but, you know... I'll take what I can get. We got a chest here. That's about it for this place. That's not that good. Okay, so we got that we'll have to knock out. That's a silence the guns. Which isn't gonna be too difficult. What do we got? Enraged when enemies are shocked. I get enraged tokens, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, that's useful, and the extra energy shield for regenerating shields is nice. But it's not that great, realistically. It's only four, so I'm not getting much of a boost. I'm getting less max HP, which I really can't afford to give up. That's a pass. 
that one... Honestly, I'm just going to dump it. The energy shield bonus, like, oh, suppression. Look, my suppression's going down if my shields go down. Or if I'm getting shot anyways. Poison effects instantly trash. Really wish we could get, like, a poison gas grenade. That'd be real useful. Ah, uh, I, I wish this wasn't a plus one. Because if it was... Well, I say that, but I think I'd still probably have to go through... Yeah, because I think I have to knock out all the other missions connected to do it, because I should be able to do this. But I think I have to get to... Let me get here... So, no matter what, I'm having to run these. This was not well made for a uh, console. But yeah, so I'm kind of stuck on that. Oh, well, we'll just knock this one out. Insertion complete. Oh, I have a thunderbolt ready. Of hostile artillery units to your tactical sensorium. Silence these guns before the Imperium's finest get pounded into oblivion. Good hunting. I think that's just telling me Thunderbolt of Authority is active. But, um... Words, words, words. Right. I had to stop and think for a moment. I had saw some people discussing this, and it was, I thought it was really interesting. I say, I say interesting a lot. And fascinating. Eh, whatever. But, um, what it was, was people were pointing out, because of the stat changes with, like, Primaris Marines and all that, that, in a way, the Leagues of Votan and the Squats are effectively new Space Marines. Which kind of makes sense. They're... Oh, there was a bunch of mines there. Didn't even pay attention. But they have a larger number than standard space marines. But they have near the same stat lines. You know, they're better than guardsmen, but not better than a space marine or a primaris. And I thought about that, and I realized, yeah, they kind of are. They're a proper kind of step between the two. And there was uh, another unit that got announced that, once again, answered one of my questions regarding heavy weapon teams. They're essentially devastators. Guys in power armor that essentially carry, you know, their bolter cannons or SP conversion beams. And I thought about that and I was like, yeah, they're they're full on just space marines. You know, every new trait and every new thing that comes out about them definitely leans in a very space marine -y design, which makes me kind of wonder are primaris marines going to get a stat up to make them a little more different? Or what the deal is. Because I know for Chaos Demons they announced some stuff a while back. And it included like... Instead of just a... a like an invuln save. They get like a demonic save that varies depending on if they're in melee or ranged attacks. They just can't modify them. Which I thought was neat. But... Makes me wonder. And we still haven't heard anything about what they're going to do for... Primaris Chaos. Because you can't tell me they're just going to leave Chaos Space Marines. I mean, they could. And just be like, oh, hey, more demonic influence and corruption and stuff. Blah -de blah. Here's something that makes them unique. Oh, I want to go to that sidetrack, but I have to just keep knocking them out since we're like a sixth of the way already cleared. Or demolished and we need to stop that. 
It'll slow down once I start getting to these guns, but it's just getting to them when I take so much damage. I haven't leveled up. I really wish it wasn't just, like, heavily Eldar for some reason. I'd rather fight literally anybody else except Dark Eldar. I will credit where credit is due. The Kronos is horrible. I hate fighting Kronos. Because they just flatten me. But short of them, anybody else would have been cool. Man, I hope we get orcs. That's who I want to see in this, is orcs and all the orky stuff they can get up to. Never seen them shoot lightning like a warlock do that before. I think I've just killed them fast enough that they never get that move off. Target neutralized. But this ought to slow down a good amount since we're gonna knock out the other gun right here. I think I'll go clear the last gun and then double back to hit everything else. Man, I'm getting Void Brother and Insignia, but no keys. In my free time, I might have to just run a bunch of, like, Void Brother and Ones. That was very close. Oh, suppression. Cool. I was wondering why I instantly got knocked flat. I'm just really hoping there isn't a tank. I don't need another, like, wave serpent or something. Because that's going to slow me down so much. Oh yeah, I started playing, uh, there's a, it's a gotcha game, so, you know, prepare yourself. But it's a 40k one, uh, Tacticus. Not sponsored, wish I was, it'd be cool. But it's actually pretty fun. You know, you move guys around on a little hex-based map, use abilities. It's fun. I don't have a lot of guys. I mostly have uh, Space Marine, or Ultramarine specifically, and then a couple... Three Necrons, two Sisters of Battle, uh, one Black Legion guy who's actually a... Uh, Obliterator, I believe. And then... One... Uh... One Death Guard guy who's like... Like a Death Shroud Terminator, almost? He might just be a normie Plague Marine, honestly. I think he's just a Plague Marine. I'd have to double check. But it's pretty fun. There's a decent amount of depth to it. I had to laugh though, because one guy was complaining, he's like, Oh, I hit, uh, like, fight, like, 
45 or 50. And he's like, and I can't beat it anymore. It's, it's uh, essentially like he's complaining that they're hard locking him at this point and that he can't continue. And I'm like, one, the game came out like two weeks ago from like closed beta to open public. And yeah, that's how gotcha games work. They tend to stop you at some point. And the thing is, you could... I beat the fight. How I did it? I geared up my guys, and I played slow. One of the guys is like a... One of the Ultramarines is like a scout. And he's got a sniper rifle, and if you don't move him, or if you don't attack, he goes into Overwatch. If you don't move, he gets a 25% damage bonus. So I'm like, just stand him somewhere. Bait the enemies in. There's a... Sister of Battle, you get who she has a flamer, like a heavy flamer, and when she uses it, it creates like a splash of fire and sets tiles on fire so enemies take damage when they start their turn in one of those spots, and it stops movement, so they have to stop in the flames. And I'm like, just use her to set up a, like a stun area that everybody has to stop in, and then just everybody else dump everything into them. Keep your medic, your uh, apothecary in the back line healing, and you're fine. It may take you like a handful of turns, but you can get the fight done with no casualties. But it's an interesting game. I'm there's some cool stuff. One guy for Black Legion summons blood letters whenever he kills someone, or he has a special ability that can summon up to three as long as they remain within range and they're still alive. So I'm like, that's pretty cool. They have like a raid where you fight Tyranids, like, uh, sw Swarm Lords and, or Hive Tyrants, Turvagons. I think it's Turbagon. Whatever. Giant guys. Giant Tyranids. And it's cool. I find it fun. For the amount of time you spend on the game, it's actually pretty decent. You know, it's definitely something you can kind of do in your off time instead of some games where they're like, oh, you need to spend, you know, three hours playing our game. And it's like, I'd rather not. You know, for a mobile game that you keep throwing stuff for me to buy, yeah, I need my time respected. Which is admittedly a problem I see a lot of mobile games having, is they just don't respect player time. And all they do is care about showing metrics of like, see, we have this much screen time per player. And it's like, yeah, but that's because you make me sit through a ton of BS when you could have accelerated all this. You know, the metric becomes a form of measurement, and so it loses its value as being like, hey, we're doing a good job. Because then you start conflating screen time with a good job instead of vice versa. It, it's a problem. But yeah, the game's fun. That's about it. I, I don't have much else to say at the time. I mean, everything I can say is pretty self-explanatory. It's a gotcha game. If you pick it up or you download it, expect that. I was hoping there'd be no one here. Oh, it's just these two. Yeah, that's easy. Yay! Still alive and more 
success in one piece. That's a success, I guess. Initiating exfiltration rituals. Oh, do I... You know, I'm not going to go for that spot because there's going to be nothing there. Those tiles are so... They're so small that what will be there is just enemies. And I'm not close enough to a level up, so... That's not bad, really. Is that better than my current Berserk token? Because that would be pretty great. Uh, plus two. I, I don't like that. Okay, currently our difficulty will be eight, nine. Please stop. I just want to go to the right spot here. Whatever. There. Okay. Ten. If none of these other ones include modifiers, I think we'll hit this one next time and try to weasel our way around here. But that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.